options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live on a, what is today, Tuesday, January 9th, S&P down 9, NASDAQ up 22, Russell the weakest down 19, Dow down 198, gold unchanged, silver red, notes and bonds a little bit lower, 10 year yield up half percent. Energy strong, oil up 2%, natty gas up 8.5%. Grains, uh, soybean slightly green, wheat up 2%, corn up almost 1%, euro in the pound slightly red, Bitcoin down about a quarter of a percent. VIX, 12.88, got a low of 12.79 at, uh, at its lowest point today. So for tranche one, I'm, so we're we're over seven bucks, which is kind of what my cutoff was. But if it's in between strikes, it's going to go inverted. So I think what I'll do, I had lowered my size to half position size. And I think I'll keep it there. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go half position size today. It's most likely we're gonna go inverted here. It looks like. And my um, tranche run one will kick in at fifty six thirty fifty six minutes and thirty seconds. Yeah, if I was doing it manual and it was right at the strikes, I'd probably do full size straddle, but I'm just I'm gonna let the bot do it. I'm just gonna go half size on all three tranches. So for today, start from the beginning. So I had a uh, this test trade I'm doing on an O2 DTE double calendar. Uh, that was a winner. I'm just testing that still. Uh, my one DTE got smoked out. That was minus 3,200. My AM Tuesday uh, was a small profit. That's the early exit. Had a re-entry loser. I uh, had a couple of re-entries that I ended up taking off just because I used those a little bit more discretionary and... Um, as other positions were coming on or if it was kind of pushing towards the edge and another position coming on, I just took it off. So that was kind of a scratch. Uh, DKS at 40%, another re-entry took off for about a 22%. Another re-entry took off for 50%. My PM Iron Condor is currently the only position I have on and it is up about 40%. So all in all for zero DTE, currently up about 2,800 going into the hour of power. Put on a one, two DTE double calendar. That one's uh, underwater by about 5% currently. Also got a 2.4 from Monday that's down about 7%. My 5.7 is down about 3%. 
I've also got a two three that is down a little bit. I'll take that off tomorrow. I've also got a three four that is currently just under the call strike down. Calendar started off so strong this week and have kind of petered out. My PM iron condor will come off at 50%. It's currently at 43, so getting close. Just need to hang around right about here for about, I don't know, probably 10 minutes. Yeah, Cody. So my, my re-entry, I just, so like I had a, uh, my one DTE and my AM zero DTE trade, those went on at the open. And so you can see, uh, as soon as my AM trade came off, I turned on my re-entry bot. So I got into those at 10 3 PM Eastern nine Oh three central. Uh, I just didn't, I, I wanted to wait until I was out of that before I turn those on. So it's just, just amount of exposure I wanted to have on. And then, um, you know, a couple of times when I closed them early, it was because I was, you know, my DKS was on, it was starting to feel some pressure. So I, I was just, it's just reducing exposure and adding exposure as I, as I want. All right. Tranche one came in at the 55 puts, 50 call, so inverted for 980. Yeah, if I was if I was going manually, I probably would have went the fifty five straddle as well. Be more trader. So today is Tuesday. So tomorrow looks like there's a 10 year bond auction that the Forex factory calendar anyways, given a little bit more weight to given it in orange instead of yellow. So that's at noon central uh, FOMC member at two fifteen central. And then of course, uh, pre-market Thursday, CPI pre-market Friday, PPI. My PM iron condor is getting close to getting filled at 50%. Just need a tiny bit more decay. It's at 49%.
Yeah, Cody, I have. I've looked at um, instead of doing a ratio, doing five dollar puts, three dollar calls, also six dollar puts, four dollar calls. Um, what you'll notice, what I've noticed, is that a lot of times, from a back testing perspective, um, you know, if you're just doing like a percentage of your account as far as your allocation goes, they you, you can see they're they're somewhat similar. Um, but, but what I've found is when you add in like profit targets and, and you start kind of adjusting the, the trade more in line with how you'll actually trade it and fixed number of contracts, then, then the ratios typically perform a little bit better. But if, if for some reason you can't do ratios, whether it's a buying power issue or a broker issue or whatever, uh, using a heavier priced put versus a call or vice versa. If you're, you know, going heavy on the call side, that, that works pretty well. In fact, that's what I do on my, um, my DKS, my modified Dick K special is I use a five and a three and I go one to one as far as the ratio goes. I'm looking for $10.60 on my PM Iron Condor. It's currently trading at 11.30. So a little pause right here would should take that out. Yeah, for sure, Marl. Um, I mean, even on even on two to one, I mean, you could do six dollars, six dollar puts versus three dollar calls. It's gonna get you somewhat close. Filled on my PM for fifty percent. That's a nice win. Well, for, yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that for power hour. Um, you might have to do $4, $2, but for like AM trades, potentially you could do like a six, three or something like that. Wally World, how are you determining max min market moves up or down as well as the overnight VIX to enter your trades? So if you look in the Zero DTE course channel, uh, one of our members, Aten Ra, uh, put together a little shared toss link and then it'll, it'll put it on your chart like this. So it'll show the overnight gap. And then if you have your chart on VIX, it'll show how much the, the VIX gapped up or down. Like today it gapped up 2.22%. And then it'll also show you the intraday moves from, from the open. So if you have toss, you can do that. And then the, um, the other one here that I have these, this yellow dotted line, that's just the expected move. So at the beginning of the day, if you look at the zero day options over here, you'll see a plus minus number. That's the expected move for the day. So if you look at the one date, for example, so between now and the end of day tomorrow, there's an expected move or one standard deviation move of plus or minus a little under 23. And so I just plot that on my chart. And um, White Tiger, let's see, did I put that in the zero DTE course? Oh, I don't think I did. One of our other members, White Tiger, created a little script. So it's easy. So I can just go in at the beginning of each day and there's an expected move. So I can just 
hit my settings. Like today it was 18.9. So I just type that in and then, and then it plots it on my chart. So today's upside expected move was at about 47.60, a little over 47.60, downside 47.23. Yeah, Cosmo, uh, I don't know if you were on here at the beginning, but I was mentioning those are, I, I just, I kind of use those a little bit more discretionary. So usually at the beginning of the day, I have those turned off. And then like today, uh, as soon as I got out of my um, AM ratio, my Tuesday early exit one, I flipped them on. So they turned on. So I really am just using them to either, you know, get more exposure or if, or I also today closed them out, closed one out early because I had another trade. Like I had my PM iron condor come on and I was like, well, it's, it was basically at the same strikes. So I just closed out my, my re-entry one and just booked a tiny profit on it. So I'm, I'm really just using those a little bit more discretionary to add and remove exposure as I, as I see fit, nothing, nothing too mechanical with those. Let's see. So I got into my trunch one at 980. I'll reduce my stop at 590 for trunch one. And load the K coming in for tranche one. It's currently up about 9%. SPX coming down, back down to 50. I did do a little futures trading today. Up a little over 4,000 um, on ES primarily. I uh I got I got long let's see my first entry was uh about about an hour after the market opened uh, I was looking at the daily chart and it started looking at the price action compared to yesterday's big move and uh started to get strong so I got long kind of scaled out and my my goal was to get out as we approached the upside expected move so that's where I got out Right when we hit that, and then we when we had that little bond auction or note auction or whatever it was, and we spiked up and then reversed right back down, I got short, so I captured a little bit of that. And then I took a little position on Bitcoin. It looked like it wanted to kind of continue higher with all the news around the Bitcoin ETF, and that one's up less than 100 bucks on that one. I'm still in that one. I didn't see any news. Did that Bitcoin ETF get approved today? Am 
I'm actually going to go ahead and close out of that. A little dip and bounce back, back up towards 55s. Sucked a little of my theta out on that little <clears throat> move. Yeah, exactly, Marl. Crunch two will start coming in at 1330. So here in about 90 seconds. Looks like that'll be the 55 straddle we hold here. And then we're kind of in between strikes, so it may go inverted. Well, no. I go five wide, actually. Yeah, it's going to go five wide, low premium. 5550s should start coming in about now. Build at 625 on the 55 straddle. So I'm on the 5055s for tranche one and the 55 straddle for tranche two.
index, kind of chopping just above 1280, between 1280 and 13 all afternoon. Got some uh, short premium in the euro. It's pretty well centered. Got a hedgehog in ES that's up a few hundred. Short strangling gold. If we get a little push up, we'll be able to book profits in that one. MES after adjustments, a little bit green. Natty gas. To this push up, I think we're probably about back to break even after adjustments. QQQ, nice and centered. Up about 24%, 20%. Put on a new time fly today in the February 2, February 5 cycle. Got a couple of ducks on my other fly, which is in the January 26, 29 cycle is up a couple hundred. Needs a little move lower. Tranche one and two, both up about Tranche three will come on in about seven minutes. Beaten down badly. It's down about five and five and a half, six percent. All time highs forty eight eighteen in SPX currently at forty seven fifty four. No, I don't buy into stuff like that trading naked. 
It's about as accurate as the prediction I made in my uh, January prediction podcast episode. Yeah, I've got a call with uh, Financial Juice coming up to see if they can work out a deal for navigation trading members. So I think that's tomorrow, actually. So I'll let you guys know if there's a uh, even a discount off the promo. Yeah, Bumblebee, it's uh it gives you up to date any any kind of I guess what they would call market moving news. So if you look at my screen here, you can see they posted here. I always keep my voice on so I can hear it. So if I'm not so I don't have to be on the screen and pay attention to what they print here, but they will they'll read it off to you in audio format as well, which I like. The free version gives you every, all this. It's just a little bit delayed. The pro version is just the same thing. Uh, it just is quicker, more, more, more real, realish time. SPX pushing up to 47.58. There's no market on closing balance early yet. That must have been. It wasn't today. First one doesn't come out for another seven and a half minutes. Tranche three looks like it may be five wide if we hold here. Coming back down towards fifty five. How are the Chad Iron Condors doing today overall? Nice. Here comes tranche three, filled at 510. And that is on the 50 puts, 55 calls. That's two to one today.
Course, 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 course. Chad, course, Chad, course. I uh, I do want to, I haven't seen exactly what you're doing, but I've seen a couple things you posted about, you know, looking at price pushes. I Whenever, whenever I was doing re-entry back at the end of last year, beginning of 2023, I guess probably would have been, I, uh, I started to kind of look at that, like wait for a price push, a little pause and then get in. And then I think it was about that time that I stopped doing re-entries because I just didn't want to be in front of my screen all day with that. But, uh, being that I'm basically in front of my screen all day, I might, I, I might take another look at that. I would probably do that as opposed to my current re-entry bots. Sounds like it's working well. Just put Chad, Chad on camera all day for eight hours. I mean, come on, Chad. You don't have anything else to do. Live, from, yeah, wherever you go, the camera goes. So we, we, we want to know how much you bench press these days. Yeah, you're not even picking your kids up from school in a winter storm. So come on, let's go. <laughs> No, I don't want the I don't want the hidden secret cam. Trust me, you don't either. So let's see, tranche two, I got filled at 625. So my tranche two would get reduced at 375. It's got an afro going on. All the kids, the kids are getting perms these days. Did he get a perm? <laughs> Chad, you know what, you know what Pius's symbol is, don't you? All their gear has it on it. Well, that's their mascot, but all their gear, you know what it has on it? SPX, St. Pius the 10th. I mean, that's where I want, that's where I want my boys to go. Just, just for that reason. All right, hanging around 55. 55 is the sweet spot. Tranche one up about 13%, tranche two up 11, tranche three up nine. First market on close imbalance. 
was, I heard it, but I didn't catch the number. Two million buy side. So pretty, pretty much nothing. But it's the early indication means nothing. We could just hang out right here for the rest of the day. That would be ideal. We'll chop between 50 and 57. See what else is going on here. We got uh, the sectors. Metals are down, energy down. Oil and natty gas are both up big. But XLE is down a half, one and a half percent. Regional banks down one, XOP down one. Retail down almost one, real estate down, financials red. Semiconductors are the most green, and they're only up a little over a third of a percent. <clears throat> Individual stocks, Shopify, NVIDIA, Amazon, green. Tilray down 10%. Piton down 7. Tesla down 2. Was down more, bounced a little bit. With uh, 25 minutes to go, a little over 25 minutes, tranche three is up 17%, tranche two up 16, tranche one up about 17.
Here's the uh, upcoming earnings. Tilray must have had earnings. At the end of this week on Friday, we've got JP Morgan, Delta, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and Citi, BlackRock. Next week, some more financials, and then the tech starts in week of the 22nd at Netflix, Tesla, Southwest Airlines. Week of the 29th, big boys, you got Pfizer, UPS, Boeing, Apple, Meta, oil companies on Friday. Still chopping around fifty two and a half. Roku down over two percent. Coinbase down Living in a winter wonderland over here. It's not snowing anymore, but everything is covered in snow. No school for the kids today. Baseball practice is canceled tonight. A little over 20 minutes till the bell. All three of my tranches are up about 20% each. Put on your rain boots and your... Uh, High waters, Krish. Still two million to the buy side.
my tranche three was the 50 55s for 510. Love to see a good power hour win here today. Yeah, I saw that 215 Central. So about 20 minutes after tranche one, FOMC member Williams speaks. Due to speak about the 2024 economic outlook at an event hosted by RM Friedland and Webster Bank in New York. My five seven DTEs back in the green by a tiny bit. I'll pick that up tomorrow afternoon. SPX coming down below 50. Bounced a few times at this level today. 1225, 1230, it bounced here. 140, it bounced here. 205, it bounced here. Tranche three, I got filled at 510. That's two to one. Puts to calls. Still two million to the buy side. Five minutes till the final number.
about 13 minutes to go. Get my futures platform ready for the MOC number in case it's over 3 billion. Yeah, that one comes off tomorrow morning. Dark Avenger. Still sitting right at 50. to 49. I prefer like a 1.5 billion to the buy side. Just give us a little tiny bounce. That number coming out in about one minute. All right, here in about 10 seconds, I'm going to be listening for the MOC. $1.3 billion sell side. So I'm not going to take an MOC trade. Still need a little bounce. Starting to bounce. There we go. Come on. Come on up. Get on up. I really brought the juice in. Tranche 1 up 30%. Tranche 2 up 20 Trunch three up thirty six. So trunch one and three are fifty fifty fives. So I'll, I'll be closing out trunch two five minutes till the bell, but trunch one and three, I we'll uh, consider taking to the bell. Now we're getting all the way up to 54.
Oh, Trunch 2 is over 40. So let's see, 375, 575. Reducing my stop on tranche two. Tranche one's getting close to a reduction. Stay right around here. Nothing crazy into the close. Uh, Wally World, check out the Zero DTE course. I posted a uh, kind of a little mini course on what I'm doing with that over the weekend. Basically, if it's over three billion, is when I would do something. Tranche two is at the 55 straddle and it's only at 50%. Coming up on five minutes till the bell. I'm going to close tranche two. Right about five seconds. All right, closing tranche two. We don't need a runner. Settle back in. Below 55, please. Four minutes to go. Currently a little over 56. I need below 55 for a pin.
three minutes to go. Tranche three is trading at a buck twenty. Tranche one was inverted, but it's trading at under six bucks. There you go. Get under fifty five. Simmer down in below fifty five. Two minutes. Tick, 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 tick. Hanging around right at fifty five. A little bit lower. A little bit lower for the pin. Elliot, are you with me? Who's with me? Who's on the, who's holding? Less than a minute. Madam Butterfly's with me. Andrew Kay's with me. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now just hold here for 30 seconds. No, oh. <laughs> get back down there. Get back down. Stop jumping around. Oh, oh come on. Teasing me. Just teasing me. All right. Still decent. So it looks like between tranche one and three, I'll book about 2,700. Tranche two, I made a little over 1,500. And then I already showed you the other stuff. So let's see, total, total zero DTE for the day, 8,173.50. Actually, it'll be a little bit more than that once these options settle out. So over 8K. Feels good. Got a little bit back from yesterday, my friends. A little bit back. All right, all, let's see. Live stream schedule for tomorrow. Tomorrow is January 10th. So I'll be streaming live in the morning and then be back again for power hour. All right, all, take care. Have a good night.